Thank you, Phil. And thank you to the election committee that uh, put this together. Um, I'm saying I'm, I read all the biographies of the candidates, and I'm glad to be part of such a great group. Um, I've, um, I've lived one and a half blocks from the proposed T station for 13 years. I have a Bachelor of Architecture and experience evaluating large real estate developments and their effects on surrounding neighborhoods. I was a tenant organizer and an advocate for affordable housing for many years. I am, I'm a co-founder of two community gardens in Cambridge. The new development in Union Square will determine what the future look, uh, looks like for my two granddaughters who go to neighborhood public schools. I've supported and will continue to support efforts to minimize displacement of residents and businesses that choose to stay in wards two and three. Our neighborhoods are already experiencing the gentrifying pressures that inevitably accompanies large-scale development, such as what US2 has proposed. There must be a concerted effort to preserve the character that makes Union Square a unique destination for so many people while welcoming new development that provides good jobs for local residents. I will support projects and programs that contribute to making some of a more sustainable city. I'll work in a way that tries to build community, that reaches out to bring different opinions together towards compromise. My work with Union United and the Neighborhood Council Working Group proves that I am willing to put in the time and effort. If you elect me to the Neighborhood Council Board, I will speak truth to power. I don't have any other choice. My granddaughters expect it of me.